I'm Tony Dominguez. This webinar will cover basic programming of Shark 270. Um, here, if you're not familiar with the Shark 270, it comes in a socket form factor and a switchboard form factor. Um, we will be beginning this webinar with uh, connecting to the meter. If you do not have the software, you can find the software on our website, electroind.com. Under products, scroll down to energy management software, select communicator, and there is a download free version button. You select that and you can run through the installation. So once you have installed the software, you you can try to connect to the meter. The meter has multiple options for connecting. Um, there are serial ports and network options. The serial ports, you have optical or RS-485. Um, you would input that information for your meter here and select connect. Um, today, I am connecting to a meter on our, the network and uh, it's under mynexusmeter.com. I've already connected. So once you connect, you'll find you receive a pop-up, pulls up the information. Uh, this is meter is on the network, so it takes a few more seconds. Timed out. Let me give that a try again. Well, actually, connect. Now we can see the device status for the meter. Select OK to close. And you, you'll notice that several of your options, button options, have been illuminated. Here you can see different polling screens. If you select the polling screen, you'll get volts, line to neutral, volts, line to line, current per phase, real power, watts, one second, average, your peak uh, maximums. And you also have your VARs, reactive power, apparent power. And you can select per phase, volts and current. Hit OK, closes. Next you have energy. That gives you another pop-up. Here you can see your energy for the quadrants, your demand, what's received and delivered, the current and volts squared T, energy, primary, and secondary, watts, VARs, volt, or volt amps, and net watts. You can also see your uncompensated energy and your Q hours. Here you have the harmonic. You can see harmonics for, for your meter or your line. You can see per phase as well. You can see these in waveform or in spectrum. You can see, if you look back at the values, it was our first harmonic that has our values. Next, this is a phaser. It's a visual representation of what we're seeing with our meter. This particular meter is seeing 
very low current or none at all on the B phase. And we are seeing some peculiar readings. But this would give you a quick glimpse at uh, any issues that you have once you have installed your meter, your CTs and PTs and configured the meter. You can also see these values through the real-time poll option. So real-time values, you can see an instantaneous poll, which brings you back to that same polling screen if you would have pressed the button. There are revenue. And there's demand, you can see your demand. There are lots of options to see your live data and your historical recorded um, accumulators. If you have any limits, you can see you can see if any limits have been exceeded. So this is a basic training for programming the year meter. Just given an overview, there are lots of in-depth, uh, more detailed information you can see for your meter. Next, uh, we will connect or pull up the profile for your meter so that you can begin your basic configuration. Your meter will the, your meter data will be extracted from the meter to give your current settings and so you can update your meter. So you will receive a pop-up with all your current meter settings. There are many options, don't be intimidated this is a basic programming, your meter will function properly by our simple setup on simply putting your correct CT ratios and PT ratios, one to one for Y connected. If you have a Delta connected system or two and a half element Y, you may select that option. If you find in troubleshooting that your CTs are in reverse polarity, you, we have provided that option for correction with software correction in the meter. And this is where you would correct that. One thing we always recommend, meter designation. By default, you have your Serial number, recommend um, inputting uh, something, something representative of what you are metering. For example, panel A or panel B or MSB1, MSB2, etc. On the communications of the meter, as I mentioned, you have several options to connect to the meter. By default, the meter does have an optical cable or optical port on the front of the meter. These are default settings. You do get the RS-485 port to which you can connect. Uh, we, pro we can provide a USB to RS-485 cable that you could connect to the back of the meter. I'll scroll down here to your network card. Network card is an added um, to the meter. By default, your meter will have a 10.0.0.2 IP address. Here, this is our meter on our network. And as you can see, there are many other options for 
configuring your meter. You can scale your meters. Uh, if you're seeing you're working on a facility doing mega load, megawatt loads or generation, you can change that. That covers the basics. Once you've configured your communications, your CT, PT ratio, you're establishing a meter designation, logical name. Um, you would update the device. You get, you are always prompted. Are you sure you want to continue? Um, since I didn't perform any changes, I will not continue. We can ex explore more of that in the future if you have further questions. One quick question uh, we get a lot is my meter firmware is out of date or how do I update? If you go to the tools option, meter firmware update. Here you select it, you, you receive a prompt, firmware update. Um, I'm currently logged in as a reader, but you will be allowed to browse to your firmware file that we can provide you if your meter is out of date. I um, always recommend consulting our tech support team ahead of time. And you input the information we provide you and hit, simply hit start and your meter will be, firmware will be updated then you can exit. This meter, the Shark 270, does have additional options with your network card, you are able to see a web page. For example, if you have your I, uh, meter on an IP address, uh, I'll give the example of for default 10.0.0.2, you simply put that 10.0.0.2 on your web page or browser and hit enter, and that'll bring up this page. So this is the meter that I am connected to with our software. And as you can see, it gives you similar options in a different layout uh, to view your readings. Through the web page browser, you cannot uh, configure your meter, but you are allowed to do some alarm um, configurations. So here we'll begin. Your introduction gives you your meter designator. Again, that serial number was set on our meter that I'm connected to. It tells you the type of meter and serial number. If you change the meter designation to that logical name, that would show here. Next, select volts, amps. It gives you a table layout of your meter readings. Again, you see volts line to neutral and volts line to line. You also have your frequency and then your currents per phase. We, we show you your maximum and your minimum for those readings. Next is the power energy. Here, you, similar to the software, you have your readings for watts, vars, power factor, volt amp. Your energy gives you your watt hours, var hours, volt amp, and your totals received and delivered. If you wish to see that in quadrant energy, you can see your readings. Hover over the box and it'll highlight which quadrant you are reading 
your totals. Quadrant demand, similar layout, you get your accumulated values here. Per face demand, C quadrant four, quadrant one have our readings. And you have some of your power quality readings here. You can see your phase angles. And information, here you'll find a lot more information regarding your meters, uh, some firmware versions, and, and network card information. You, it does provide you a quick summary of what is configured in your meter for your hookup, your CT and PT ratios, and your system wiring designation. Here you can set up email notification uh, whenever you wish to get alarm messages or notifications for different uh, readings. We can guide you through this further. Um, simply put your server URL or IP address and port, hit next just simply jumps you to the next window. You select which values you wish to be informed about. Fill in information for the email from to what subject to um, place for your notification email. And there is a password that uh, is provided in the manual and we can uh, help you with that as well. Hit submit, um, that will take and should function properly. This was a overview of the web page, a quick tour of using the software, viewing the polling screens on the software, The other options there. Uh, quickly touched on firmware update. Um, there, um, one question that I had as well, reset device information. This reset device information is simply used for resetting your accumulators and account and a counters. So I believe this reaches the conclusion of my quick uh, basic programming of the Shark 270. Um, next we will begin answering some of your questions.